Ladies and gentlemen, I am in love. Her name's Alice, but there's a problem. Her evil stepmother, Eve, doesn't want us to be together and has locked her away. I want to tell you how by using quantum physics to hide secrets, I rescued Alice. You see, to plan Alice's escape, we need to send messages to one another, but we don't want Eve to see them. Now, the problem is, Eve's really sneaky. She reads all Alice's letters and reads all her text messages, and worst of all, she sends them back on, so we don't know that they've been read. Because we can't detect that Eve's there, we can never be sure that our messages are safe, unless we use quantum physics. You see, quantum physics is just a study of really small things, particles, atoms, molecules. And when you look at something on the quantum level, it changes. Now, this might seem kind of weird, right? Because on the scale of big things, this doesn't happen. For you guys to see me, particles of light, photons, are coming from the stage lights, bouncing off me and into your retinas. And because I'm really big compared to these particles of light, it doesn't affect me. You don't see me flying across the stage or anything. But what if you want to look at something that's really small, maybe the size of a particle? This time, when you bounce a photon off it, it really does affect it. Because they're about the same size, it hits off in some unpredictable direction. It's the quantum equivalent of kicking a football at a football to discover that it's a football. Right? And this is why, at the most fundamental level of nature, looking at something changes it. And we can use this to detect Eve. So I wrote a very romantic message of zeros and ones onto particles of light, then fired them off to Alice, and we compared our results. I was like, Alice, what did you get for the first thing that I sent you? She said, I got a zero. That's fine, I sent a zero. Alice, what did you get for the fifth thing that I sent you? She said, I got a one. And then I knew it. I knew Eve was listening in because I had sent a, ze a zero. Eve's sneakiness, Eve's listening in, had changed it from a zero to a one. By using quantum physics, we could detect that Eve was listening in. Uh, we could, yeah, we could detect that Eve was listening in. We did this a few times, sent a message which we knew was safe, and I came around, kicked down the door, and rescued Alice. Okay, yay. <laughs> okay, this might sound like fairy tale stuff. No, not a quantum physicist getting the girl, but hiding, sec <laughs> but hiding secrets on particles of light. But in the digital age that we live in, electronic information, zeros and ones, have become a precious commodity. And the only way you can be sure this information is safe is by using quantum physics. And that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I look how you can store, manipulate, and send information on particles of light. So not only can quantum physics hide your secrets, it can also improve your love life. Thank you very much. Bridget, no conflicts of interest this time? Just checking, right, off no. you go. Well, very brave to choose something like quantum physics to explain in three minutes. So we, well, well done for that. Now, of course, you, and I guess deliberately, used a, a very simplified version of explaining how the act of the observer affects the quantum system without mentioning the, the fuzziness, the fact that the notions of superposition. Sure. What, I mean, if you were given 10 minutes yeah. to, to make that same, give that same talk, what, what else would you bring in? So for me, the key... Don't take 10 minutes. I'm just yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, key, the key part of, of quantum physics, arguably, is that wave-particle duality. Things are both a wave and a particle at the same time. And this sounds kind of weird, but... But this is just the way things are. This is the best way you can describe things. And that's a hard thing to get across to people. And I think what I tried to do in my analogy was get that across, but without kind of unveiling the, the, the rug as such, you know, opening the curtains. I, I think it's still part of it, but it's not, yeah, completely explicit. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to think of my, my sister, who has absolutely no interest in science whatsoever. If you were trying to think of an everyday example in order to bring this talk to life, what would that everyday example be? So do you mean, what, why should I care? Uh, sort of, no, no, yes. You can answer it as, why, why should people care? But it's a tangible, practical okay. thing in everyday life that your talk is actually influencing, okay. or the quantum mechanics is actually influencing. Sure, sure. So, you know, we all do online bank transfers all the time, right? And these things are secure, but they're not completely secure. And in fact, the only way you can make it complete sure is by using quantum physics. So much so that this is like a marketable technology. The first bank transfer was done using this back in 2004. 
They've laid quantum communication networks across Tokyo and Geneva. What, what do you mean by that? So they've laid special fibers, which means you can send particles of light with these, with these messages, these zeros and ones written on them. And they need to be special ones, but they've laid them nonetheless. Um, so this is a completely, you can buy these things off the shelf now. Yeah, so it is something that's going to happen. So I find quantum physics really difficult. And I really? was... <laughs> and I was... <laughs> I, I, that's clearly where I've gone wrong. Um, so, how did you ask Alice the question that Eve detected? How did I ask Alice the question? Are you, you didn't really, No, no, did no, no, no. We, we, we can say this publicly. That's fine, I can shout at her. It doesn't matter if Eve hears that. I can actually shout it. And once we've kind of shared this secret key, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We can do this thing publicly. Right, because all, because so, all, so, 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 all the, so tell me again the thing that, that, so that I, Eve detected and that only you and Alice... So these messages, these yes. particle of light is the one that I sent to her, okay? That's the message I want to say. And then I'm going to ask her publicly a little subset of it. And it doesn't matter if Eve hears that, because it's only a subset. Okay. It's fine. But we can <laughs> tell, and that's the key point, we can tell. Okay, I've got you. You and your wife. I, I, th I think I, I think I thought there was a fatal flaw in it, but actually I think I, I, I think he explained it. So well I done. I think Claire is now in a quantum state where she both understands and doesn't understand the, the answer. <laughs> Can we please one talk quantum of solace, please, for Jacques Carolan? We hope you have enjoyed this video, and for more videos, go to freakphysics.com.